everybody, welcome to another edition of A Chapter a Day Keeps the Doctor Away. My name is Alan, otherwise known as C-Suite, and I'm from ReverseThieves.com as well as the Speaking Geek Podcast. And this time I'm looking at the first chapter of March Comes Like a Lion, otherwise known as Kiriyama Ray. And kind of like my previous 87 Clockers review, this is a series uh, by a former Jose artist, and pretty much a Jose artist for a seinen manga magazine and thereby making it a seinen manga and it's ostensibly a sports series but it's much more relationship focused and they're both by authors who are very popular for one series among a niche audience in the US but for some reason nobody seems super invested in their other series and this one is by Chikia Umino, who most people will remember as the author of Honey and Clover, um, which was about art students in college. Another, one, another series by, about students in college, which is very different from your normal high school series. And this time it's about a kid who's in high school so almost the standard thing but he's almost completely dropped out of school and most of the time is a professional shoji you know kind of Japanese chess or checkers um, more towards chess but he's a Japanese shoji um, player and he's pretty much playing on a professional level and um, the series starts, we see him getting dressed and going to a game. And uh, if you just look at the chapters, it's really good at just showing how isolated he is and kind of how alone. I mean, he's obviously in a big city, but up until he gets to the shoji match, we just see him almost as if he was like the only person on the planet and uh once again the artist does a really good job of just you know just showing how kind of isolated he is from everybody and he has this match and we kind of see at one point in his life he was a happier person but he's kind of going this sullen withdrawn boy and obviously he has a bit of a history that's somewhat strained with the person he's playing against and he wins quite handily and we see him and he's about to go back to his kind of isolated life he gets a call to have curry via text message and he's about to cancel when he finds out in a follow-up message that they need some things for their curry night and he kind of reluctantly goes along and he comes to the home of these three sisters you know one of them obviously quite booksome and quite the adult lady and then one who looks generally like a junior high and then one in elementary school and they have a house full of cats and you know it's a small house they're obviously not fantastically wealthy um and so their small little apartment has the four of them we kind of get this frantic scene of them making curry and this interesting contrast of him once again really feeling kind of isolated in this kind of vibrant house even though he's participating and definitely warmer than we've seen him in the first half of the manga there's still a definite sense of isolation that uh you know umino does really well of portraying him and we see throughout the chapter you know that they've kind of almost adopted him as a, another family member 
and but there obviously is something in his past we're not exactly sure what um, some his dad was obviously killed and possibly by his brother possibly by him it's a little unclear and it's definitely supposed to be disturbing and definitely traumatizing for him no matter how it went down um and yeah that's kind of where the manga ends um we see that uh, obviously you know these three sisters care for him and that you know he's a professional player and i don't know it's uh it's another series where the shoji and once again the sport is not the main focus i mean it's obviously going to play a part it's obviously structure for this tale but kind of the heart of the series is ray and his relationship with the sisters and his relationship with other people but to make it more than just a slice of life series to make it more than just this lonely boy and these three crazy sisters um, we have the shoji which you know gives us more uh, kind of meat and uh, uh, another aspect to the series which is really good um, once again kind of like 87 clockers we kind of see um, Umino's own thing with once again her very soft art style very obviously shoujo and jose influenced um almost watercolory at times especially on her covers and kind of these kind of gentler characters but still quirky still definitely vibrant characters but uh whereas you know 87 clockers everybody is really eccentric everybody is really full force even if they're quiet they're kind of over the top and in your face about their quietness whereas everybody in march comes to a lion is very subdued once again kind of has that pastel watercolor feel but they're still very bright and uh, i think that's a uh, always a plus to this manga series um but uh that's the first chapter of uh, march comes like a lion i mean you don't really have to fully know the details of shoji kind of like you don't have to know the details of overclocking your pc it's really about the characters and their relationships the you know the sport itself is just a tool to tell stories and uh, so if you like hunting clover this is definitely a series that uh, you should look at because um, it doesn't matter if you like shoji or not you, if you like the way that the manga car makes characters you should definitely watch a series for that alone and uh, so see you guys when I look at the next chapter of March comes like a lion